Hello everybody, Slim Kirby here. Welcome to the final video of Let's Play Donkey Kong Country Returns. This does not include extra videos, so there will probably be some extra videos too. But today we're going to do the final boss, 8B, Tiki Tong Terror. Let's do this. All right, before we do anything, we have another vertical rocket barrel level to do. Now this one's actually more dangerous. As you can see, uh, this one's actually more dangerous than the uh, first vertical rocket barrel level we did. So yeah, we're gonna wanna be careful here. And apparently use the boost button for places like these and not still do not <laughs> why am I sucking and I'm not even at the boss yet why this is not good I'm not liking this one bit I need to start playing a lot better and not do something stupid like miss the barrel entirely okay let's just uh, boom Okay, game, are you done with giving me unfavorable deaths where I can't see what's going on behind me? I mean, seriously, most of my deaths have been not knowing what's coming, so it's like... It's not like I can avoid that anyway. There we go, okay. Well, I probably spent more time doing that than I did the actual boss, maybe. We'll see. Our bananas! <laughs> you! You're the cause of all of this! Come on, you could have easily shown that as the... ...dying image whenever you die instead of a question mark. So apparently this boss is powered by potassium. That or just the tiki's in general, I guess. And using this, he can actually create body parts. I see. And here's another video game stereotype. Bosses that attack very fast and you can't do anything to avoid them. Okay, seriously, I've not, I haven't done this boss in years. I don't remember anything about it. See, could I at least get the pattern down before you start taking damage? I guess not. No. Eh. 
figured that was gonna happen. And see, now you show his image. Why couldn't you just show a Tiki image? You didn't have to show the boss, per se. Also, I lost Diddy Kong. That's not cool. Yeah, as I was saying, uh... This is the stereotypical boss fight where it's like a head and hands. I mean, how many times have we seen that? I mean, hell, there's like Andross, there's a... Uh, I believe Dr. Eggman had a robot like that once, too. Uh, Godon from uh, Wind Waker. Bongo Bongo. My god, there's like so many of those bosses. Also, I can't avoid that one attack. That one attack's like really difficult to avoid. Where he has his hands going sideways. This one's not bad, though. You can get that one. No, I can't avoid that. What the hell? I don't even know how I hit that hand right there. Well, let's uh, keep trying. Now see, how do I get over that? It's too high. Okay. I can get that one, but when he does the one where it's like, his palms face the sides, I can't do that. No, what the? Oh, hey, I got a heart out of it. I got a heart out of getting hurt. That's weird. Oh, I guess I can just do that. that hand. Now we have this hand again. Really? Nope. Okay, let's try this again. No, that doesn't work. I tried it. Eh. I guess that's how you avoid that attack, which I guess makes a little more sense. I wish you'd go slower so I could maybe do this. No, why didn't that work? Okay, well, there goes that hand. Let's make the other hand go away now. That seems like a good idea. Other hand? Let's... Yes. So, yeah, that is how you avoid it, I guess. Okay, there we go. We're done with that phase, finally. Let's get to the uh, main part of the fight. Okay, that, that doesn't look too hard. This looks a little more tricky. Still not too bad, though. Do the uh, ground pound plate. What? Oh, come on, I didn't even know that was gonna happen. Okay. Wait, so that heart was fiery, so it gave me a heart, then took it away? And I guess that makes sense, but. I wasn't prepared for that to happen. Oh. 
damn it. He's almost dead, I can feel this. Uh, what? Those things kill me in one shot? Or no, I guess I didn't have a heart, so I guess that makes sense. Okay, here we go, second phase again. I seriously don't remember this boss being this bad, but... There's just so many things I don't like about him. Like, like right there. Like, I don't know why it's not counting certain attacks. Just with how exact you have to be for such a random boss, it's just not right. Plus, I hate that attack too, because sometimes you can't really avoid it. Okay, please go away, fire. Oh my gosh, I didn't even make it to this point with two hearts before. I might be able to do this if I don't screw up. No, no, please don't. Thank God! Oh God, thank God, it's over. Oh, there we go, guys. That's uh, Donkey Kong Country Returns. Yep, all the stuff upgraded. That's good. And, yeah, we have staff credits now. Um, like I said before, uh, there's still some extra stuff, so this isn't the end of the project. But I'd say one more video. In fact, probably at the end of this video, I'll attach all of the hidden gallery stuff and all the stuff we unlocked throughout the game. And then uh, next video is going to be the uh, finale, so to speak, of uh, some extra stuff I'll talk about. And then also the final secret level of the game. And after that, it'll be over. I will admit, this is definitely not my favorite Donkey Kong Country. In fact, I like the uh, three SNES titles, all three of them better than this one, but... You gotta give Retro Studios credits where it's due. There's a lot of elements that were present in this game that were in the old games, and they did a great job of recreating it and adding a lot of new stuff, too. I mean, there's definitely some places where it comes short. I didn't really like the whole puzzle piece thing as opposed to the, you know, DK coin and bonus coins and all of that stuff. But... You know, it, it, it was definitely something, I guess. It made sense in the whole uh, secret aspect of Donkey Kong Country, I guess, but I don't know. I just felt like they went a little too far with the puzzle pieces. Um, there were things I didn't really like about certain hitboxes and whatnot. In this final boss especially, there was like so many times where, and so many failed takes where I just got frustrated. Because it's like, there was nothing I could do. I could make it to the final phase just fine, but then anything I did in the final phase was just, you know, didn't help or didn't work or anything. But nonetheless, I do think, aside from those little uh, cons, I do think Retro Studios did a great job with this game. A lot of people 
don't really like this game and think it's a poor attempt at recreating the Donkey Kong Country franchise, I, I definitely wouldn't go that far. I mean, you gotta give them credit that they, you know, they worked with a lot of uh, mechanics that the old games did have, and honestly, they created them just fine. At least in my opinion, anyway. Maybe some of you guys still disagree, but that's just the way I think. Honestly, this game's a lot harder than the old games, and it's kind of weird because I remember a lot of people saying this game was easy when it first came out, and I was like, what the hell were they playing? Honestly, this game is very difficult, and, like, just the Kaizo levels alone are like, hell. Even some of the normal levels were hard. Hell, in that last world, I spent the most time on 8-7. Uh, like, I spent like 30 minutes getting through that one because there was only one checkpoint, you couldn't get a ditty barrel, and a lot of tricky platforming. So I'm definitely looking forward to what the uh, new Donkey Kong Country Returns game, uh, Tropical Freeze, is going to be like. I still haven't played the 3DS version, and I probably won't for a while. A lot of people actually wondered why I didn't do that game as opposed to this, like, I should have done the 3DS version because it just came out, but, um, from what I've noticed, it's pretty much the same regardless, just a few new levels here and there. Maybe in the future I can cover those levels like I did with, uh, Yoshi's Island, I can just cover the 3DS exclusive levels. Oh my, what's this? It's a golden banana temple. And that is actually the secret world of the game, so we'll uh, see what that is next time. Golden temple revealed, all right. So before we go, like I said, we are gonna take a look at the extras, or the, uh, all the dioramas and all of that. So let's go to extras. We have an image gallery, music gallery, and diorama gallery. Let's start with image gallery first. As you can see, there are a few things that are not available, but that's going to come into play during the uh, final level we'll do, so we'll see that later. I just want to make sure... Yep, everything else is here. Well, let's just go through this then. First, the image gallery. We have a Fragoon. Auk, Pinchy and Pal, Snaggles, <laughs> that's a funny name, Squidicus, Stilts, Humzy, Squeakly Family, Skitter, or Skittler, Animal Friends, and yeah, that's it. So ba basically consider this like the end of all the other Donkey Kong Country games. You go through the enemy roll call and all of that. Let's see, we have Squid Shot. Cageberry and Pals. Tiki Pop. Mole Guards. Buzz Bite. The Chomp Family. Skelorex. Bonehead Jed. <laughs> I love some of these names. Kowali, Beady Bots, uh, Squid Shot, okay. Next we have Tiki Gallery, Screaming Pillar, Tiki Buzz, Tiki Tank, Tiki Boing, Tiki Torch, Tiki Pilot. Tiki Lineup, Early Lava Tiki, and, wow, interesting. Oh, we're actually not done. There's actually a few other things here. Uh, next we have the Boss Gallery. Here's Mugly, Scurvy Crew, S Stew, I almost thought that said Slim for a minute. Uh, Mole Miner Max, Mole Miners, Mango Ruby, Thugly, 
Colonel, Colonel Pluck, Tiki Tong Tower, and Tiki Tong. What a wonderful list of bosses we have there. Um, World's Gallery. Uh, jungle Waterfalls, the Jungle Statues, Ship Attack, Undersea Adventures, Ruins, Bamboo Forest, Cliff Spires, Fern Dozer, Factory Entrance, Volcano Eruptions, that's it for that gallery. Uh, very quickly, just to make sure I'm not missing anything. I don't think I am yet. Nope, nothing yet. Kong Gallery! Okay, we have HUD Exterior. The Island Vista. There's a tutorial pig. Home Sweet Home. Cranky Shop. Aw, Family Portraits. That's cute. Oh, there's also a few more. Only the most determined ape will unlock this item. I actually have some fears about that. <clears throat> anyway, bonus gallery. Seems like we have everything from here. Rambi. Beach Bridge. Eel Fight. Amber Tracks. Popodotamus. Treetop Village. I like the look of that. Uh, Dusky Cliffs, Old School, Angry Banana, <laughs> and Temple Monuments. That's cool. And now let's move on to the next one. Music Gallery, I don't think we'll actually have to listen to this, but here you have some of the music and you can listen to all of them. I'm guessing they all have tunes from their uh, respective areas. Gonna cycle through these. Not much to really say about them, though. I freaking love the factory music. I love how it's a callback to the first game. But yeah, there we go. That's a uh, music gallery. Lastly, we have the diorama. Oh, this is cool. I like this. You see the uh, different scenes from the game we've just played through. There's the octopus. From the ruins. Don't really remember that. Well, I guess I kind of do. Yep, that looks about right. Okay, from the forest. Yeah, seriously, these dioramas are cool. I'm willing to bet that there's people out there who have actually made uh, life-size versions of these, like real-life versions of these, and hell, knowing them, they're probably selling for a lot of eBay or something, who knows. Oh, I like this. It's a callback to uh, Donkey Kong. That's cool. And lastly, we have the volcano. Nice. I would definitely pay a lot to get a figurine like this. That looks really cool. But yeah, that's uh, all the bonus stuff. So next time we're going to well, see what other extras we have. So this has been Slim Kirby, and I'll see you guys next time. Later, folks.